That's a head wind. That's a very big head wind. It's cycled in and while I'm going for the windswept look, it's also getting me longer to cycle in. But I'm now at uni. Head to the museum this cafe home. And yeah. Now I've got an hour to two to make yeah, uh, and then I'm just off to the media office and then I'm off to the literary ferrer, ferrer, ferrer. At the end of this video I'll be able to pronounce it. But for now though, see you in a bit. Empty office, for me to edit the pulse with a bird of Fleetwood Mac, so that's always something. Also, I saw the literary fellow today. I'm pretty sure he thinks I'm dumb. It wasn't my finest work, and there were very simple errors, but I needed it to be picked apart. And <laughs> he explained the colon to me, because I was like, oh no, I'm having a dumb moment. But he literally explained it to me, and now I just feel like a dumbass. But that's okay. I'm also not editor today. I was expecting to do handover, and that meeting's cancelled, and hopefully coming on Friday. So that's always fun as well. But for now, I'm editing... Technically last week's polls, but by the time this comes out, it'll be two weeks ago, because time is a very strange thing. Oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get some food a bit after doing some editing, then I'm going to go shopping. Oh, it's going to be late night vlogging in Tesco. No! Big thank you for Lizzie for doing the, the polls. It was a very fun thing to edit. Just, I'm now tired. <laughs> this morning, like... It, it wasn't raining too much, and now, although it's now a bit later, like, as when I last vlogged, it was about late January, when we were right in the middle of winter, but now I've got to, like, it's, it's just in the rain, I appreciate the light, but I don't like the rain, also the side note from the CPR last night, oh, that wind, <laughs> I'm sorry future me if this is terrible sound but if you try singing our last night which is like just change your voice there, it's fine it's already in the land you try singing our last night and then you're like oh this is a good song and then it gets to screamo and you can't really sing screamo out loud I can't really sing screamo anyway you're just there like <sighs> and just yeah have a listen to our last night is basically the moral of this tale I saw back in November with Lawrence who you saw in the previous episode yeah basically and I'm just gonna cycle home now and keep listening to Ivory Tower which is what brought up our last night and yes so I just got back from Tesco I decided to go and do like clip the bags onto the side of my bag oh my back it's like a fun fact which I might have been procrastinating from my work is I'm trying to explore neo-Victorian or something but yes that's, that's my fun fact for today is that the Hubble telescope has been in orbit for 28 years so happy birthday and probably I'll put something in the background of just some images so it's currently quarter to midday yeah, worst 11.47. I did get up earlier and I had to go to Tesco to buy go and buy Coke for the Coke ham because I completely forgot last night. I got the ham, but I didn't get the Coke. Yeah, take that as you will. Um, I've now got a whole day of work, so it's probably just going to be me screaming. What's new? And also trying to sort out for Varsity tomorrow. I've got to get in contact with the teams to go and say that I'm reporting for them because I will be on bay tomorrow. So that'd be a nice little travel montage. But yes, also don't eat so late at night, you get very weird dreams and you don't sleep very well. That, that's my life advice. I realised that we haven't actually had any beaches on the pulse, or we have very little and considering it's right on our doorstep, <laughs> probably should go and like do some clips to be fair. So yeah, this is the Bay Campus Beach. It's a very windy beach, but it's very sunny for a minute, so let's hold on to that. Happy Varsity!
also happy Wednesday isn't happy I'm on babe and oh, it's <laughs> it's about 10 to 9 and I'm a bit tired and I'm on with food and I'm just gonna hang out by the Great Hall vlog for a second so I'm going to about 9 30 for 15 degrees to open and then I'm just gonna grab my wristbands for today and then it's cover exam <laughs> Suite. Come out in the main bench for there and you go up the stairs. Also in the press box, we've got our IDs. No. Also, there's Emily in the corner. <laughs> Don't move your eyebrows. Oh god, I have to turn it enough. <laughs> but yes, we made it. We all know you're an alcoholic, Emily. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a little like. Basically, little press bit. And we've got the actual view itself, so it's a good day. Morning. I had a dream about entering this last night, which was a bit weird. Um, it's the day after Varsity, sorry, I forgot to film the rest of it. We just basically watched Hercules and drank, not gonna lie. Uh, and then because of our internet being down, because our internet has just decided to gone, uh, to, to gone, to go, and the router has seemingly died. So I've just spent 20 minutes on the phone to our internet service provider, and they've gone, yeah, we'll just send you a new router for tomorrow. It's going to be 48 hours without internet in this house. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't really do, like, my essays. I guess I'd have to read my course text. I have to read. Why do I have to read? I can't watch YouTube. I, I know I've got a collection of DVD. Oh, I feel like this is very much first world problems, but still. But yes, our uh, plan for today is seeming lectures, but it's probably going to be me wandering into the SSM office because to go and sort some stuff out. And yes, I was going to turn around and I'll do a shot in a minute of just how dead this this router is. It's got a huge red light and it is dead as hell. Yes, I don't know, really know what's planned for today. It's, it's your guess is as good as mine at this point. Future me, you'll know. Blah, 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 blah. It's dead, Jim. Are you taking this no, I'm not. I'm just doing a video. <laughs> I have friends. Hey, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> it's like half eleven, and the power hasn't gone yet. So that's a good start. But I'm actually, I'm just gonna go sleep. It's uh, been an interesting day, and tomorrow uh, I believe it's just meetings. I am sorry, this whole vlog is full of meetings, and I feel like it's back to the February, January vlog, where I was just meeting after meeting after meeting, and I've, I've realised this is my life now. This is literally, this is just my life, and oh gosh, it's gonna happen again next year, and yeah, it's just it's just been like prep for editor of Waterfront for next year, and it's just been meetings after meetings, and oh, um, and it's just still discussing that. And I should be having handover tomorrow. I will let you all be witness to this, <laughs> just vlogging like oh hey, um, so yeah, I might become editor tomorrow, which is quite terrifying. After winning the vote in SSM and everything like that, it's kind of terrifying to see it happen in real life, but it will be quite fun as well. She says. She says. But anyway, for now though, good night. Why am I waiting today? Um, I mean, to uh, <laughs> and I've just done an editor handover, which I had to look on the emails, and I'm. Uh, <laughs> that was a lot of unread emails, and I got rid of about 300, considering there was over a thousand in about an hour, and I've kind of decided to call that quits for me because I'm like, that's coursework. It's probably bigger to come prioritise those. But it was a fun task to distract myself, and I'm currently in an empty media office and about to go home because apparently the route has arrived so we can go to out the internet and also click pick up a book so I can start doing my postmodern work over the weekend. 
<laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Oh, it's on SD card now, <laughs> so it's fun. So I kind of, I didn't vlog because Lawrence and Rika might to about 10 and we didn't really watch Avengers, sort of chilled on a laptop and I downloaded some stuff, so I'm now back home again. But basically I actually came to realise that I'm in a slightly wholesome mood, which is quite interesting in itself. Uh, as I was discussing the past years at uni, this course has a third year, you're approaching graduation, and although I should be staying for a master's, it's kind of a terrifying time and I've realised the past two years I've done stuff with a purpose and that it's I'd like to think I've done a good job like last year I was in a lot of societies and although people called me rather mad I would like to think that a decent job and this year I did like the waterfront and now I've become editor of it and I've also started up this this thing which has been fun in itself and it's kind of Basically the getaway is that although at times you may think that you're useless and you may judge your like question yourself, I think although it's not the best thing, if you are starting if you literally look back at it and you can question it and you can go, Well actually I I did do this and I'm sorry, it's like it's like early morning rant and I, yeah, it's kind of, but if you can look back and you've, you, if you ever have a moment of self-doubt then just look back and be like, well actually I, I did this and I did this and it, if you look back at your perspective, because hindsight's always a beautiful thing as it is. I mean I can look back at what I've done and I like to think I have done a good job like I said and <laughs> it's just a massive run and it's just, I don't know, I just, it makes me a bit sad that people, particularly like good people, are just literally just there going, oh but I've done a rubbish job when they've done one of the best jobs I've seen. And that, it was particularly like with some of my committee members last year who've, there's been problems with like some of the committees that are dying this year and they're, they're, they feel like it's their fault that society's dying and in some cases, well actually it, it's, it's not, it's kind of because it's not your fault and you have to go through the guilt of being like but I let the society die and it's not, it's just been due to unfortunate circumstance you can try your hardest and if it still doesn't work it is rather depressing but then at the same time you've tried your hardest and that's all you can do and I feel like that's the moral of my story it's just if you've tried your hardest and something doesn't go right and you can at least go well I tried my hardest so that's okay just believe in yourself because damn